In the sulfonation of benzene, we use something called fuming sulfuric acid to add an SO3H group to the benzene ring. One of the interesting things about this reaction is that we can remove the SO3H group with dilute sulfuric acid. Let's begin by talking about this fuming sulfuric acid. This just simply means sulfuric acid, H2SO4, that has been treated with SO3 gas. So fuming sulfuric acid is just referring to this combination right here. And in this reaction, the electrophile is the SO3 molecule. It is not positively charged, but there is a partial positive charge on the sulfur in this molecule, which is what's serving as the electrophile. Other than, than that, everything about this mechanism is exactly like what we would expect to see based on other electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. One of the double bonds in the benzene ring attacks the sulfur of the SO3 molecule. This creates a bond between the carbon atom and the sulfur. Two of the oxygen atoms continue to have double bonds one of the oxygen atom now has a single bond. We do have all three of the resonance structures that we would expect to see in the sigma complex. I'm going to draw all three of these structures, hopefully pretty quickly. In this, we're moving the double bonds around the ring and we're also delocalizing the positive charge around the ring as well. I'm just gonna use SO3- as an abbreviation here. We have one more a uh, resonance structure to go, one more delocalization. And then as you know from other mechanisms like this that you've seen in the past, at the end of this, we show the base coming in and abstracting the hydrogen from the benzene ring, which is then returned to aromaticity. In this reaction, the base that is used is a deprotonated sulfuric acid molecule, HSO4 minus. It's going to grab that hydrogen, move the carbon hydrogen electrons down um, to restore aromaticity to the ring. That's gonna give us this structure right here. It is still an SO3 minus. And then we're going to use a second molecule of sulfuric acid we just used, we just created a molecule of sulfuric acid right here. So we'll use a sulfuric acid molecule to protonate and give us the actual product of this reaction. Now, as far as the reverse reaction goes, um, the mechanism for the reverse reaction is just literally this whole reaction in reverse, starting at the end and working your way back to the beginning.